नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम बैक टू वन एसमीज गाइस चैनल दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी इन इंग्लिश ये वीडियो इंग्लिश में होगा बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू केटर दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक हाउ टू रीच एवरेस्ट बेस कैम्प टू ऑल द पीपल हु वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू एवरेस्ट बेस कैम्प एंड द पीपल हु वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू एवरेस्ट बेस कैम्प फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लाइक नॉट जस्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया सो आई एम नॉट मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इन हिंदी द एंटायर वीडियो विल बी इन English. So the number of things that I am gonna be including in this video are that there are certain questions like how to reach Everest Base Camp, uh, what is the cost involved, how many number of days one should, one must consider, uh, things to keep in mind, uh, and there are certain other points which I will be adding later on. Like if I keep remembering, otherwise uh, certain things doesn't come to mind instantly. You know what? I follow a page in Facebook uh, by the name of Everest Base Camp Trek, and there are a lot of people from the different parts of the world asking a lot of questions. Let me show you a couple of questions that people ask generally in this uh, page. Okay, guys. So this is Everest Base Camp Trek's page, and there are thirty point six k members who have joined this page. Uh, let me go through some of the questions. I'm not going to be pointing out. all the questions just a few questions which are necessary like uh, does ebc require a guide or can you do the trek on your own so these are the certain questions that i will be answering although there are certain answers who has uh, people have already answered and you can go through it uh, you can go to this page and you can also you know find your answers and there are certain other questions like hello i am thinking of doing the everest base camp trek in september 2025 i want to prepare myself physically for it am i fairly i am fairly physically active i want to so this is uh, i could do uh, what recommendations do you have for someone to prepare it physically maybe maybe any suggestions for basic basic workout routine so these are certain questions like you know can anyone suggest uh, best organizer organized so you can find it on your own i have read the tipping guide can be in usd or rupees is this correct so these are the kind of questions that people ask hi all can hi all okay hi all can someone share a packing list i am doing my trek doing my trekking next april 13 days in total and my company did not specify how many items for each clothes to take thank you so you know he has no comma commas no exclamation mark it's difficult to understand sometimes so these are the certain questions that i want to answer to you yes this is average base camp track space so if you want to follow this page and if you want to uh, if you have any query uh, simple query or just one question you can uh, just type it down here and you will get your answer so yes let's come out from here did you just see the number of questions people ask there are so many questions there are so many queries so i hope this video of mine will be helping you to uh, uh, basically i will try to cover all the questions and points in this video of like how to reach everest base camp and everything so let's start with how to reach everest base camp there are two ways to reach everest base camp first of all you have to reach kathmandu from your respective countries either by flight or by roadways from kathmandu you can either choose to go by charter flight or by a helicopter to lukla or you can choose to take the roadways to lukla if you go by roadways you start from kathmandu and you have to go via dhulikhel okaldunga saleri basa surkhe and then you reach lukla now remember the names i have mentioned okaldunga saleri basa surkhe and then you reach lukla these are the names that you have to go through these villages so what we did when we went to lukla there was no one to help us with this itinerary so we literally had to find our way so we asked a lot of people and then we have found this way and that is how i am curating the itinerary for you guys so yes don't forget these names if you have to reach lukla via road Okay friends now that you have reached Lukla from Lukla there are two ways to reach Everest base camp first is via helicopter which is very convenient you can go via Goiko lake also and it takes short time so it's convenient and there will be no acclimatization issue second option is via trekking which is 90% of the tourist or the trekkers they mostly choose to trek now let me share you an itinerary from Lukla to Everest base camp via Goiko lake now this this uh, the itinerary that i have written here is not very prominent i will be presenting you it in a very prominent way now let me explain it here at first 
so uh, forget about kathmandu consider it day 2 from lukla from lukla you will start to fagding from fagding to namche bazar namche bazar you will take rest because that's an acclimatization area you have to get acclimatized to go further from namche bazar you will go to fort sethanga from fort sethanga you will go to masharmu and then you will go to goikole that is on day 8 day 9 you will be reaching thangna and that is where the goiko lake is now you go and visit the goiko lake and you come back and you can also the next day day 10 you can consider it as a rest day you can rest there or you can come go ahead or come back now day 11 from uh, thangna to you go to jang uh, jongla via chola pass this is one of the passes there are three passes in total the chola pass is one of them so on day 12 from jongla you come to labuche on day 12 you'll be coming from jongla to labuche labuche to gorakshep and you reach ebc in the same day you can reach everest base camp as in like from gorakshep to everest base camp is like around one and a half hour in you visit everest base camp you come back and you settle down in Ev- uh, gorakshep so on day 13 you go to kalapathar kalapathar is located in gorakshep only you have to climb to kalapathar to see the sunrise in mount everest and then and on the same day day 13 you come to fariche so from fariche on day 14 you start from fariche and you reach thangbose thangboche on day 15 you reach namche and on day 16 you reach lukla so this is the itinerary i will be sharing with you in proper details like in my description box also and on my side also so yes you have to follow this itinerary so this is these are the two ways that you can reach everest base camp now i will be discussing with you the other things like uh, what is the cost involved what is the difficulty level and what are the things that you need to keep in mind what is the fitness level now let's start with uh, what is the cost involved guys now let's come to the most important part of this video which is money without which this trip is not possible so how much does it cost to reach mount everest base camp from kathmandu and coming back to kathmandu via flight if you take flight from Kathmandu to Lukla. See, I have not included the price from your country, from your country to Kathmandu, and I have not included the price of food and stay in uh, Kathmandu. I am breaking down the prices from Kathmandu to Lukla, and then going back to Ev- going to Everest and coming back to Kathmandu. So basically, it's Kathmandu to Kathmandu. The first thing that comes is flight. The flight charges varies depending upon the uh, weather condition, uh, the number of seats available. It all depends. So the minimum fare of a flight from Kathmandu to Lukla is twelve thousand Nepali currency, which is seven thousand five hundred and nine rupees in Indian currency, and it's ninety dollars. It's one way, and now if you have to do a round trip, you can always add the prices. And the maximum it can go up to twenty five thousand rupees from Kathmandu to Lukla. That is one way, and fifteen thousand six hundred and forty three in Indian currency, and one eighty eight dollars. these are the prices just for one way so the prices remains between 12000 to 25000 nepali currency it keeps on varying depending upon the situation and time and everything now let's come to the tea houses the tea houses are very cheap they will provide you with one bed and there is one blanket there is just one blanket so you have to consider that you need to take a sleeping bag for yourself otherwise it will be very cold and that one blanket is not satisfactory it will not keep you warm So the price for a bed in a tea tea house is four hundred to five hundred rupees per day. So if you consider it for seventy number of days, it will be around eighty five hundred rupees in Nepali currency. Now you can convert it to your respective currencies. Uh, now let's come down to the food. The food is the most expensive part in this entire journey. See, it's quite obvious because all the supplies goes from down to the top. Like you know, uh, you must have seen some porters carrying a huge load of luggage from bottom to the top. so these are these are the reasons like the price the price for the food is very expensive so per day it will cost you around 2000 to 3000 rupees in nepali currency which is if i consider it 3000 for 17 number of days it will be around 51000 rupees 51000 rupees now everything boils down to what you eat what you drink if you can do cost cutting on food then it's all up to you so i'm giving you the weight like it's Fifty-one thousand for seventeen number of days. That is a maximum, three thousand rupees per day, which is eighteen hundred and seventy-seven 
rupees in indian currency per day and for 17 number of days it's 31913 rupees 31913 rupees and in us dollars it's 22 us dollars uh, which is 384 us dollars for 17 number of days that is food and that is why food is food is expensive there man now there is one optional thing that is a guide a charge of a guide is 2000 to 2500 rupees per day that is nepali currency per day not per person suppose if you go in a big group then the price gets divided but if you go one person or two person obviously the you have to pay for the entire uh, trip for 17 number of days uh, if you consider it 2000 rupees it's 34000 rupees in indian currency it's uh, 1250 rupees for 17 number of days it's 21250 rupees and in us dollars it's just 15 dollars and in for 17 number of days it's 255 usd a guide is not compulsory i haven't took any guide i went solo and i completed the trek so you can save a lot of money now by not taking a guide now let me ask you one question like what if you fall sick in the middle of your trek suppose if you got sick like i suppose uh, you fall victim of mountain sickness in labuche or in gorakhshep where there is no people to help you i mean the people will be there the the sherpas will be there the um, some tourists will be there but there is no conveyance like how will you get saved or what will you do then see there is only one way that you can be rescued you need to be rescued first of all when it comes to mountain sickness the only way that you can be healed or you, you can get over of mountain sickness is by going back to the base like in where the oxygen level is quite high um, up there the oxygen level is low so there are two ways that you can be saved <laughs> the first is the ponies they will put you on a pony and they will uh, drag you down to the lukla where there is a hospital and they will be giving you oxygen and all and the second thing is by helicopter and helicopter rescue is very expensive it's 1500 us dollars which is almost 2 lakh rupees in nepali currency and it's 1 lakh 25000 in indian currency so you need to have that backup money behind you because you never know with mountain sickness no matter how fit you are no matter you are a doctor or whatever you can get mountain sickness depending upon your activity and health. there are many conditions basically now let me give you the overall costing from kathmandu to everest base camp and kathmandu with a guide in nepali currency it will be 1 lakh 17500 rupees in indian currency it's almost 75000 rupees and in usd is 900 us dollars so i am giving it a round figures that is with a guide and without a guide it will be around 83500 nepali currency 52235 in indian currency and 630 us dollars now this is without a guide so this is the overall estimate of the trek now it all depends upon what you eat whether you are taking a guide and the number of days you are staying it all depends upon you okay guys so i have given you a general budget that you should consider while going to mount everest base camp okay guys now let's come to the fitness side how fit you should be to do this trek see one needs to be really fit otherwise it's not possible it, you know you do not just cannot go randomly and do the trek you know you're not fit and you're trying to do the trek it's you will not be able to do it if you do not do any physical workout or you do not go to a gym or you do not run or walk or you do not swim then at least for a month you have to walk or say run for at least 5 to 7 kilometers every day for a month and then you will be it will be easy for you to trek everest base camp then because it's a lengthy trek it's a very long trek for 100 plus kilometers from lukla to lukla so yes you need to be really fit and just like i said Uh, before doing this trek if you do not do any physical activities then at least run or walk for 5 to 7 kilometers for a month and then you will be prepared let's talk about the difficulty level of this trek see this trek is neither difficult nor it's easy it's moderate it falls in between basically so it is basically a very long trek like it's over 100 plus kilometers from lukla to Everest base camp to Goiko Lake and coming back to Lukla it's over 100 plus kilometers so every day you have to walk for 7 kilometers like for 17 days if you climb for 7 kilometers every day it will be 119 kilometers and there are no technical climbs involved in this trek uh, just that there are certain villages like 
from Jorshale to Namche Bazar it's quite steep so you have to go very slowly slowly and there is Kala Pathar. Kala Pathar is quite steep uh, but once you reach the top the the view from the top is worth worth much the hard work basically so yes the difficulty level is not that difficult so guys i have given you all the necessary information all the important information that is required to do this track uh, like i covered itinerary i covered the budget i covered the fitness and the difficulty i don't want to give you all the information or all the details this video will be very lengthy and you know if i give you all this information there will be no adventure or thrill or curiosity left I just want you to go and experience the thing. The ultimate thing of Mount Everest is the experience. So go and take the experience. This is the last part of the video and I want to share my experience of Everest Beast Camp. Like I went with Prakash, my friend and our Bella, my pet. So we went from Delhi to the last motorable village of Nepal. We rode till there. We literally asked everyone about the road because nobody Nobody does that. I mean, very rare out of thousand people, there will be one or two people who would like to do that. I mean, ride from your place to that place and then you hike. A lot of people take public conveyance like they go by truck or they go by bus or they go by um, they hire a cab or something like that. But we literally rode with a pet and we literally there was no one to guide us when it comes to the itinerary to reach the last motorable village because very few people do that and so we asked almost everyone on the way like uh, how should we go where should we go and that is how uh, we reached the last motorable village that is Kharikola. and from there we literally tracked to uh, Lukla and then we tracked to Everest Base Camp and uh, we could not I and Prakash could not do the trek together because Bella was not my pet was not allowed in Everest base camp because it is a national park and there is no such rule written anywhere before I mean I could not find this thing in Google when I literally landed there people started telling that and the authorities started telling that you cannot bring a pet to Everest base camp because it's not allowed so what we got to do is like we had to stay in a homestay and we had to took turns basically prakash went and did everest base camp he came in five days so i took care of bella during that time and when he came back he took care of bella and i went to everest base camp and we completed the entire trek in five five days imagine people take 12 days and we took five five days you know we did not do this to be the number one or just to be uh, you know out of uh, we wanted to do it very fast it, it is not a race we wanted to enjoy the entire circuit but we had no other option because my pet was at at, at a local's family in there so we had to do this track very fast and yes it was one of the most phenomenal experiences i have ever had in my entire life mount everest base camp i mean like people who are track lovers or uh, who are adventure lovers i i think once in a lifetime they should visit Everest Base Camp. Phenomenal experience that's what I would like to say and uh, yes I we did not hire any guide uh, we went our own we did solo and that's it guys that that is my experience and I will never forget this experience in my life. Thank you so much for staying with me and uh, if you seriously like this video do uh, like share and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye take care Jai Hind and Joy Home.